Now that you have everything you need, you're ready to set up the pump. Using the spark plug wrench rod to push in the ball bearings in the fuel line quick connect while squeezing the primer bulb will allow the air to be purged from the fuel line. Using objects like twigs or pencils can cause pieces to break and jam the quick connect ball valve. Firmly press fuel line connection onto the pump fuel connection and twist to lock in place. Check to see if the foot valve is working correctly by pressing on the spring-loaded valve located at the bottom. Ensure that the foot valve is firmly attached to the suction hose. It should be hand tight. Speed up pump and priming by submerging the suction hose in the water before attaching the pump intake. Use one hand to keep the suction hose level and straight to take pressure off the threads. Use the other hand to attach the end of the suction hose to the pump intake. Hand tighten as much as possible. Finish tightening with the hose wrench to prevent any air leaks. Cross threading can damage the connection and create air leaks that lead to air locks and potential pump end seizure. Water Axe recommends the use of a thread protector to protect the pump end threads against any damage. Allowing at least 20 centimeters, eight inches, of water above the foot valve will stop any air from being sucked into the pump end. Suspend the foot valve off the bottom if sand, gravel, mud, or other material could be drawn into the pump. You can place it on a rock, in a submerged toolbox, but make sure to keep tools together in a safe place to prevent loss. You can also tie it to a stake or shovel, place it on spruce or pine bows, or tie it to a float. Priming the pump end can be done by either agitating the foot valve or by using a hand primer. Keep priming until either there is water coming out of the discharge or out of the spout on the hand primer. Attach the discharge hose. Once again, it is important to have an airtight connection.